Hello, it's Brian here from Quantlabs.net. Just thought I'd show you uh, a little trick I learned. Uh, maybe useful, maybe, I don't know. But it's something that could be somewhat powerful where you can have MATLAB call an R script. Now, there's various options to do this, but the one that seems to work right now the best, this is from a Stack Overflow query from 2011. Um, somebody asked how to do it. So basically what happened was somebody said, well, use this command system and then the R command batch with the in file, the name of your R script and the output. Not the most intelligent way of doing it, but it works. Um, and I'm going to show you another way. I'll try to run it for you um, and I'll show you why it doesn't work. I think if I could get it working, it would be the better option. But for now, let me just show you this Mickey Mouse uh, way of doing it. So I'm going to call a system command from within MATLAB and I'm going to call the R command batch. Now, <clears throat> first thing you got to do is obviously put on install R, put on your system path if you're using Windows. In my case, uh, I've got here a little R script that I wrote. Um, and basically all it does is just does a hello world thing. Cat, hello world. Mm. Um, and uh, when I run a command prompt, typically what you'll need to do is to uh, basically um, let me just move to this folder. All right. All right, so there's my R, hello R script right here. Um, if I get rid of these output files as just examples, um, even this one, uh, I can run R, no problem. Actually, it's not recognized. Okay, let me try it that way. Just see what... Uh, folder I'm in. Uh, okay, so this should work. So if I run, so I got the um, the uh, command batch running on, on my command line. Hello R and then hello, I don't know, output or something. So it runs, so it will create that little output file which kind of looks like this. Um, yeah, let me just show you here. Nothing fancy, just runs a whole console output, but it does output the hello world. As I said, nothing fancy, right? Um, so that's working from within the console, but when I go into my uh, MATLAB, um, here's the hello, I just showed you the R script. There's the outputs. So if I delete that file, um, what I can do now is I can rerun what I just showed you. Uh, in the uh, this guy right here, if I do it from within MATLAB in the system uh, function, I'll call the hello out dot txt. Let's say, um, and there's our little output file right there. So it does the same thing, which is great. Now, that's kind of a Mickey Mouse way of doing it. Another way of doing it, um, it would work great if I could um, use something like this. This is from MATLAB Central. Uh, what you could do is theoretically run um, MATLAB, uh, basically use our caller which is a Java uh, project that enables Java to call R. Um, so basically what you're doing is you download the file, the jar file, the Java archive file, which should be an executable from here. And then from there what you do is you uh, have to also include in the uh, script, the MATLAB script, location of that jar file that you're going to download. So essentially um, you're just going to download this jar file, the 2.11 snapshot. 
So if I go into the proper folder, you'd think it would work, but uh, I'm going to show you why in my case it doesn't work. Um, so let me just go to the proper folder. Okay, so let me just clear this, start over again. Um, so what we have here is we have a script. So I've created that jar file. Okay, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the same uh, folder as instructed. Um, here's the script itself from within MATLAB. So as instructed, um, I basically add the location of where my uh, R executable is, which is essentially here. I'm using 3.2 of R. So I've included that path. The other thing is that was instructed was to also include, as I said, to, to, to include in the same folder the jar file. So what essentially the script does, um, you set your R location, right? Blah, 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 goes through the usual code. This is where it gets interesting. A lot of people don't know this, but you can add Java class pass within your MATLAB session. With that, um, you any, any, any jar file it could find, you can actually directly call it. So here you can see within my MATLAB, I can actually get access and see all the applicable classes that are available from the Java jar file. That's very cool. Now, theoretically, this should run uh, and be able to um, add it uh, and include it into the uh, workspace. Now, this is where it fails. So I add the Java add, uh, path, right? Um, I import it. And then this, this line is where it fails, but it, uh, it should work. You see it's saying the R caller is not available or can't, it's not defined. Now, you can see here, in the workspace. Now, I have no idea what, what that is. Maybe it's public. I don't know. It's some stupid reason. Uh, but this would be the more intelligent way of doing it because you could use this script um, as well to uh, manipulate R from within your um, MATLAB script without doing that command batch file I showed you earlier. So, two different options. Uh, there's some other projects you could kind of do this with through Java. Um, but from what I've seen, this is probably the only smart way of calling R from within Java. Um, but uh, if there's a better way, let me know via the Facebook. Because uh, I would like to get this working. Uh, I know at some point I can. But for now, I just have that R uh, command batch file option, the first one option I showed you. Hopefully this may be useful for somebody. Um, maybe down the line it might help me out. But for now... Um, that's pretty well all I got working. But I'm kind of like doing the lazy way, as you know. Talk to you later.